Hello guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We are so excited to be making what? Beehives. Yeah, mixed media honeybees. So today's drawing, was it easy? No, not no. really easy. It's kind of challenging. So to help younger kids, we've created a template that you can get on our blog www.wildfreeandcrafty.com You can go on our website and download that with your parents' help. And that is a bee template. So it's a cute little bee shape that you can draw the face and details in if you find that drawing this is a challenge. But we like to challenge ourselves, right? All right, guys, today we're going to be creating mixed media honeybees. It's going to be a really fun project. You will need quite a few supplies. You're going to need either oil pastels, chalk pastels, crayons, colored pencils, or even markers. We're gonna be using oil pastels. You are going to need some form of paint. We have acrylic paint on hand. You can use tempura paint. You can use watercolors. Just keep in mind with watercolors, it's going to be a little bit of a lighter effect. You're going to need a glue stick, a paintbrush, scissors, and bubble wrap. To get started on this project, we are going to take our bubble wrap and we're going to cut it up if you have a large piece. You can make it the size of your entire sheet of paper or part of your sheet of paper. If you have smaller bubble wrap, you might not even need to cut it up. Alright, now your kids might not be able to resist popping the bubbles, which is part of the fun, right? But after we're done popping bubbles, we're going to put some paint on the bubble wrap. And we're going to spread it around with a paintbrush. Make sure it is on the side that the bubbles are popping up at, so not the flat side. Feel free to use more than one color for your honeycomb pattern. We use yellow and orange. You can stick to just yellow if you'd like. And just be careful of how much paint you put on. Try to keep it light so that um, there's not too much paint on your bubble wrap. And now we're gonna take our bubble wrap. We're gonna flip it over onto our sheet. And try not to move it. And younger ones might need a little help with this. And then press it down like you're stamping your paper. Now we are going to lift it up. Are honey bees mammals? No. Are they fish? No. Are they birds? No. No? What are they? Insects. Right. And how do we know that they are insects? They have six legs. Correct. And? and they have three body parts. The head, the forex, and the... And the wrist. Abdomen. Abdomen. You were so close. Good job though. Wow. I'm impressed. We went on Google and we 
looked up a picture of a honeybee. Ah! That's creepy. It's your mom <laughs> It is. But it gives us a really good it's reference it's for it's our dream. my hand. Yeah. Can you imagine if you saw one that big in real no. life? One time I saw a dragonfly that's so huge. Yeah. Like battle through the sunset. Mm -hmm. But you know what I like Mute. about this picture? It gives us a lot of close-up detail. And it's not real. Right. For different age levels, we can modify this. They are definitely going to be making their drawings a little more simple. And up to teenagers and adults, feel free to get into as much detail as possible. To draw our honeybee, we're going to start with an oval for the head. And we're going to draw lightly with a pencil. And then we're going to draw a circle. And then we're going to draw kind of a weird shape, sort of like a carrot, where you start out as an oval and you taper down at the bottom and go back up. And then you can erase any little parts in between. So it makes one body. Typically their legs have three sections, so we're drawing three, they're kind of like rounded rectangles or long ovals with claws on the ends. But if you have younger kids, they can feel free to just do lines for the legs. So now that we have legs, we are going to add antennas. Nice job. And then they do have eyes, so we're going to draw circles on the outside. It looks creepy, but they do have the cute eyes. They just want to drink. And we are actually going to add the wings as a uh, third layer to this drawing. And if they want, they can add in hairs before they start coloring it. They can put the stripes in before they start coloring it if they want to give themselves a guideline. Where's the wings? Now we're gonna get started with our oil pastels. If you are older, and more advanced in art, you can start shading your bee. We're gonna put black there. And you start out with a Start out with more pressure and then get lighter as you go toward the middle. And then we're going to start doing our stripes. So color those in. taking darker colors on the outer edge we're gonna do lighter colors as we get toward the middle to create sort of like a um, light source So if you take yellow, you can always take, if you're using oil pastels or crayons, colored pencils, you can take a darker color then and do it on the outside. Do you want to switch? And then I'll do lighter yellow in the middle. This one's challenging, isn't it? I'm yeah. putting black in 
to mail them because that's what it actually looks like on the picture. Yeah, go ahead. And the yellow right here. And you guys can be realistic with your colors. You can go crazy wild with your colors and a pink make, bee? make a pink bee. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna. Or your add backgrounds some... can be some crazy colors. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make my back one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make my back eyes. I'm gonna black. Yeah, I'm gonna black. Okay. Yeah. Let's Okay, and for the eyes, we're gonna do darker again toward the outside Mine's and real. lighter toward the middle to have like a little light spot on their eyes. So don't feel like yours has to look like mine. What's the important part about art, guys? Having fun! <laughs> These are gonna turn out different for everyone. It just depends on your age and what level you're at artistically. So um, don't feel like it has to be perfect. Just get creative. Uh, after all, there is such a thing as abstract art, right? Um, there are ways to interpret art in, you know, many different ways. So next, because we're creating a collage, we are going to cut out our honeybee. Which, parents... Your kids will probably need some help with this, with these little claws, if they did claws. And then we're going to cut around the legs and the body. And last but not least, we are going to draw wings for our bees. If you have younger kids, or if you are a younger kid, your wings can be pretty simple. Like you can take a quarter sheet of paper and just go like this and like this for your wings. Or if you're a bit older, you can challenge yourself a little bit and look at your picture of the honeybee and get really detailed with those. Wait. So after we have made our wings, we are going to color them in. You can choose what color you want to use because typically these wings are clear, so um, maybe a really light gray, or you can just leave them white, hey, or even a very me. light blue. Alright, now is the exciting part. We're going to put all the pieces together. Now we have our painted part, which should be just about dry by now. Um, we have our bee and we have the wings. So with the wings, we are going to bend them up a little bit. So that way you can see underneath the body and it's three dimensional. We don't get to do that. So glue the wings onto the body and then we're gonna glue the bee onto the paper. Now we want you guys to show us how you have been getting artsy lately, whether it's been through our videos or just fun creations that you're making at home. If it is through our videos, we love seeing photos of what you've created on our social media pages. We've had people posting on Wild Free and Crafty on Facebook and the Rustic Orchid on Facebook. So it's really just awesome to see everyone's drawings, hasn't it been? Mm -hmm. It just makes us so happy to see everyone across the United States and we actually have worldwide people now sending us images of the drawings that they've done based on our art lessons. 
which is super exciting. So, Peanut Butter made some pretty awesome drawings yesterday. She loves Pinkalicious, so she made Pinkalicious's neighborhood. And we have this awesome one too. We'd love to see what you have created too. As always, thank you guys so much for joining us and we hope you enjoyed today's art lesson.